Okay, so here we are for exercise 2B. Now this one here, what we are going to be doing is drawing a triangle. Now I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here and I'm just going to get rid of this code to begin with. Uh, and then I'm going to say file save as and set this one up to be 2B. Okay, now that's going to overwrite the file I already had, but uh, the little boilerplate code that we have at the top here where we import our library and set our screen size is perfect the way it is so we don't need to change that from exercise to exercise. So if you are going to create a new file each time, what you need to do is basically come in and just make sure that you drop those four lines of code in and then we are ready to go. So in this case, obviously, it's not going to be the square, it's going to be the triangle. And then from there, I am able to uh, start to enter my code. So this time around, we're going to have again my turtle dot forward. Uh, this time, we're going to say 150 pixels, and then I'm going to say my turtle dot left, and then I need to say how many degrees I want it to turn. Now, obviously, we don't need it to turn 90 degrees this time because we only have the three sides, so we need it to turn at another angle. Now the way in which this works is a little bit different to what you might know from geometry if you were studying maths uh, in class or something like that because the angles within a triangle add up to 180 degrees. But what we actually need to do here is we need to work it out so that our turtle is able to rotate 360 degrees in the number of sides that we have. So if we were to do 360 divided by three, what we're looking at here is 120 degrees. Okay, so that when we do this two more times is going to equal 100 uh, 360 degrees which is going to give us our full revolution of our triangle so i'm just going to run that one and show you that now so it's going to update and save i'm going to quickly grab this so you'll see that it's sort of half drawn now and then the animation finishes back over here where the turtle is at the start okay so that gives us our triangle ready to go which is really good but i'm just going to show you another little cheeky thing that we can do instead. So if I say 360 degrees divided by three, as you will know from that very first uh, video that I put together, our interpreter is able to find and do those mathematical operations for us. So instead of having to actually work out how many degrees our uh, graphic needs to turn, we're able to just quickly grab that now. Okay, and if I bring this back onto screen for you, you can see that it still draws a triangle for us as well. So our uh, Python interpreter is able to interpret 360 divided by three as 120, and then it gives us the same output that we had before. So again, super quick uh, and easy example for you there of how to draw a triangle in turtle. Uh, that's going to finish up this video super fast, and then we are going to be able to jump into the next video really, really quickly.